So I started out in poultry science about 10 years ago as an undergraduate college student. We're starting to see the development of the adult feathers here. I was the first person in my family to attend college, so I kind of just went in. I knew I liked science. I set my sights on becoming a poultry veterinarian. It's 400 feet from one end of the house to the other, so they have easy access to water. So those are the actual bacteria growing there. I get to do medicine, I get to do things on a higher level of study, but I also get to work with you know, the everyday working man, which is what I grew up around, it's what my father is, it's what my family members are, and so I hold that very dear to my heart. So we want to look at how well the hatching process occurred. Any visit I get to, to a hatchery with a veterinarian is something that's uh, exciting for me. I think that the hatchery is very important. It's sort of the root of where things begin. Animal welfare in the poultry industry is something I could talk about for hours. I do defend our industry quite frequently. A lot of people have the factory farm picture in their head and they post it on Facebook and say, this is outrageous that people are treating animals this way. And that's usually one of the first arguments I make is, you know, there's no such thing as a factory farm in the poultry industry. It's usually a small farm run by a, you know, mom and pop sort of operation. At every farm, every visit is a learning opportunity. The environment is so dynamic. It's a biological environment, they're living creatures. You know, today it's rainy and cold, yesterday the sun was shining and it was warm outside. Right now the heaters are probably running because we're trying to get the temperature up there to make sure that the birds are comfortable. In a lot of regards, they're taken care of better than some humans. They live in better conditions. I mean, it's temperature controlled, humidity controlled. The chickens are very well cared for. We make sure they're vaccinated against diseases that could adversely affect their health. They're allowed free access to food and water 100% of the time. So that is a common misconception, and that's a shortcoming on our part as representatives of the poultry industry. I think something that we can do better in the future to educate the public on where their food comes from. I feel a big responsibility with regard to sort of feeding America, feeding the people, uh, making sure that our food supply is safe. For the last eight or ten years or so, it's been my goal to get here, to become a part of this, to, to become a part of the community of poultry veterinarians. Sort of fairy tale style. It's like a dream come true for me.